Hey everybody, Travis at Fly Products USA. We wanted to do a short video pointing out some of the build features on all Fly Products trikes that you may not find in other manufacturers' offerings. Fly Products has been in business now for over 30 years, so they've had a lot of time to work out some of the, some of the kinks and issues and just minor details that you may not notice just on a cursory glance at the trike that make it quite a bit different than some of the other units that you might be looking at for a tandem trike or a solo trike the out there. First things I want to point out, if you look at a lot of trike offerings on the market, in fact the vast majority of them, look at the way that the axle is connected to the main frame. On most trikes there is a tube, a steel tube that is welded to the mainframe of the trike, and then there's an axle that inserts into that tube. It could be a steel axle, a fiberglass, uh, not so often an aluminum axle, but that goes into the, that tube that's welded to the mainframe. One of the issues that we see with that type of build on a trike is that every time you land, and especially if you have a hard landing, you're putting a lot of torsion and pressure on that tube that's welded to the mainframe. Now, if that weld breaks or that tube bends, your only choice at that point is to either find a fabricator or to buy a new mainframe for your trike. On the Fly Products units, you'll see that each trike that they build, you've got an axle that's connected to a flex joint that's bolted through the mainframe at each place that the axle is supported on the trike. If you do have a hard landing, a very hard landing on a Fly Products trike, hard enough to do damage, what we're finding is you're either going to damage the axle itself or the axle connection between the axle and the wheel. Luckily, those parts are in stock. They're inexpensive. I think I would say $70 to $80 for an axle and a little bit less than that for the joint connection. And you've got new parts in three days and you're not buying a whole new mainframe for your trike. Another item that you're going to find on the Fly Products trike that might be missing from other manufacturers' offerings and this may seem like a minor detail, but it's a protective cord between the bottom of the cage and that attaches to a, a fabricated uh, piece of steel that's attached to the wheel. What this does is if your lines pop off the line hanger and you don't notice it before you launch, it keeps those lines from getting underneath and into the propeller and damaging your glider. So small detail, but can make a big difference. Another thing to look at when you're looking at buying a large trike in the Fly Products line, that's the Vertigo, the Zenit, and the Eco 2, is the cage construction. There's a chance if you've been flying trike for a period of time that you've had a rollover. It does happen. The wing can get to one side or the other during landing or takeoff in high winds and can lead to rolling over the trike. Uh, we've seen with the Fly Products Vertigo, Zenit, and Eco 2, we've seen them roll over. The chances of anything getting damaged in a rollover is next to nothing. Typically, it rolls over, you roll the trike back upright, the cage is still perfectly round, there's been no prop to cage impact causing the prop to get damaged, and it's ready to go fly again right away. So let's take a look closely at the cage construction on the Fly products. First, you wanna look at the uh, diameter of the tubing. Obviously, larger diameter tubing is gonna equal more strength. Bracing, the way the tubing's braced, is gonna to lead to more strength. If you look at the uh, thickness of the main spars on the Zenit and the Vertigo and the Eco2 light trikes, you can see that's about an inch and a half thick. Very, very strong main spars um, connected into a square cutout. It can't rotate. Um, and then you've got a support spar here that comes all the way down and is connected to another one of these flex joints that we pointed out earlier with the way the axles are connected. So you do have a flex joint connector. So again, there's nothing welded to the mainframe. If something were to bend or break, which is very unlikely, even in a rollover incident, you're looking at, for example, replacement of this one piece, if this piece were to bend, but that piece is still connected to the flex joint, so it's very unlikely. Or you're looking at replacement of this one piece here, or replacement of this one piece here. So, um, you know, everything is very modular, but everything is also built to be very strong and still at the same time, very easy to break down and put back together for transport as needed. Okay, so another feature you're gonna see on large trikes and tandem trikes is a rollover bar. Now this bar also serves as a point to attach the A assist, but really its primary purpose is safety and rollover protection. If the trike were to roll over, this is what's gonna protect your head from hitting the ground. Now one thing that's different 
If you look at a lot of other trikes, the rollover bar or the A-assist support is actually welded to the main frame of the trike. So you roll the trike over, you have a whoopsie, and you bend the rollover bar. Maybe you bend the main frame as well, but it's all one piece. You've got to replace the whole thing, or again, you need to find a fabricator. Um, we've seen a couple of uh, severe rollovers on Fly Products trikes, and typically what will happen is the, this bar will bend a little bit in that instance. At the same time, it saves you from getting hurt. But this bar is completely easily replaceable and it's not welded to the main frame of the trike. It's also, for transport, we can unvelcro these two pieces and this whole rollover bar actually just folds down to make the trike nice and flat for transport. And they thought about the fact that if you do have an accident and this bar gets damaged, it's very cheap to replace. Again, we have these in stock and you're not replacing the mainframe on your trike. One other very important thing to look at carefully when you're buying a uh, tandem trike or a large trike is the main frame itself of the trike. This main frame, this big stainless steel piece in the trike, this is what supports everything else. The gliders attached to it, and then underneath the gliders, the harnesses, the back frame, the subframe, which is, has the wheels. So this is a very important piece. This is like the backbone of the trike. Look at that very carefully on the Fly Products units. This is a single piece stainless steel mainframe. There is nothing on this that's bolted together. Um, you know, a lot of the other offerings, um, perhaps this is broken into a, a more than one piece where the, the user gets it and has to bolt it together. And that's really nice because it makes shipping a lot less expensive because this is a big piece. Um, but Fly Products does not compromise in that. This is stainless steel. It's very, very thick tubing and we've never seen any compromise of this main frame. Also, this is where you've got your hang points. Something else to look at is how many hang point offerings do you have? The Fly Products Zenit and Nico 2 lights all come already built with two hang point offerings, which makes it very easy to go fly solo and go fly tandem. We did attach a third to ours because we do a lot of commercial tandem work and if we have a very heavy person up front, we've got a third hang point so we don't have to move anything and that's our, our big guy tandem hang point that we use. When you're buying a trike, some important questions to ask are, is my trike already built or you're receiving boxes full of parts and an engine and are you looking at a two day process to build this thing yourself and you've never seen you're, you're, not a, you're not a manufacturer, you're not someone who builds these on a regular basis, and you've got to put this thing all together yourself, it's going to take you in the air. Um, all Fly Products trikes are delivered, completely built. Now, when they are in the box, you might have to, like with an Eco 2, you may have to attach the axles. That's all you need to do with an Eco 2, or attach the back frame to the main frame, but everything's already connected. It's a matter of unfolding, putting a bolt through, rolling out on the Zenit, just popping out the wheels and attaching the cables. But everything else is on the trike is built. The engine's attached, the main frame's all put together, all your hang points are on there, your reserve's installed, your reserve bridle of protection is installed, your cockpit's on, everything's put together. There's none of this um, having to spend a couple days trying to figure out how to build your trike and then wondering if you've done it right. Now that does make it more expensive because we have to ship these in giant wooden crates uh, that cost several hundred dollars to ship across the U.S. via freight line, but you're getting something that is whole and is 90% put together when it arrives. Trike. Also consider the construction of the front end of the trike. On the Fly Products trikes, this entire wheel support system is one piece, fully welded stainless steel. You've got nice bicycle grip pedals so your feet can't slip off for the pilot. The passenger has just stainless steel pegs for their feet. You also have these nice big tires that makes it really easy to roll over rougher terrain. And then especially important is you've got a suspension system in this front wheel. So uh, especially when the passenger's up front and even, you know, we've got a pretty good field here, but there are some little holes and gopher holes. You know, when we roll over those, you're not jarring your passenger out of the front seat. It kind of rolls over like, a, like an old Cadillac. And I'll show you guys, you know, if you push down on this, you can see, oh, I need to get more weight on it. But you can see how the suspension system flexes the front wheel of the trike. Lastly, um, and this is going to be pretty common on all larger trikes, but most of them do have a brake 
This is important on a large trike because, for example, this machine here weighs 193 pounds. You add your weight to it, and now you're maybe up to 400 and something pounds. You add a passenger's weight to it, and now you're up to 600 pounds, 700 pounds. You know, this is not a trike that you're gonna put your feet down like Fred Flintstone and try and stop if you're, if you're about to hit something. So it really is important that you've got a good brake system. So if you do, in an emergency, need to stop or you're taxing the trike, it's gonna make it much easier to slow down. Bring yourself to a stop. And lastly, it can be used to do engine run-ups where you can hold the brake and check the engine thrust before you connect the glider and go. All right, guys, thanks for giving us your time watching this video and allowing us to point out some of the things that you should, we think you should be looking at when you're considering a large paramotor trike, uh, some of the things that are involved in the build process and some of the uh, component features as far as strength, uh, versatility, breakdown ability, and replaceability of certain components. If you have any specific questions at all, we're happy to answer them. We can be reached at info at Fly Products USA or 833-BE-ALIVE. Thanks for watching. These birds, they're killing me.